Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to try and show you how to live stream your iPad screen directly onto YouTube. Now before I show you which app to use, let me point out that you need to have the screen recording app available in your control center. Here's what I mean. If I drag my finger down the upper right hand corner of the screen, the screen recording app is this button we see right here. Looks like a record button. Now if you don't have that in your control center, here's how to add it. So if I exit this, I click on settings and in the tab directly beneath general, that's control center, I tap that and I then click on customize control. Now I can see all of the apps that will appear in my control center. Here we can see that I have this screen recording, but if you don't have it, then just simply scroll down the screen and you should see it here. Then to add it, you tap on the green icon to the left with the plus symbol on it. Anything you add here will then appear in your control center. Once that's done, you're good to go. So if I click on the home button, there we go. The app that I use to screencast onto YouTube is the following. Stream Labs with this green icon here and this sort of weird guy with glasses on it. Now the good news is that's completely free and available on the App Store. But if I launch the app, the first thing that happens is I'm prompted to log in with one of several options. Now I want to live stream onto YouTube, so I'm going to log in with YouTube. And here I've deliberately hidden my login details, but here is where you would enter the email address as well as the password with which you created your YouTube channel. Once that's done, you would launch the app, you'd get logged in, and you'll be faced with the screen that you see here, at the very bottom of which you have a go live button here. Now to launch a live stream, I tap that button and now I want to create an event. So I click right here and the first thing I need to do is enter a title. For the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and call the video demo. Next, I can enter a description, which is optional. I won't do that right now. And last but not least, we have something called access. And here we can see that by default, it's set as public. Now, if I actually click on public, I actually have several options here, either public, unlisted, or private. Now to give you a bit of context, I'm a mathematics teacher and what I would like to do is to be able to go live with my students so that they can see the video on YouTube and so that they can add comments or questions as we're actually doing the live session. But what I also wanna make sure of is that they're the only ones who can do that whilst I'm actually recording the live tutorial or live lesson. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and select unlisted. What this really means is that only people who have the link to the video can see the live stream. Once I'll have finished with the live streaming, I can then publish it and make it public on my YouTube channel so that students can either go back to it or so that students around the world can see the actual video. And I should say, if I were to choose public, then anyone on YouTube could find it and on top of that, any of the subscribers to my channel would be notified that I'm currently running a live session. But like I said, for the moment, I'm gonna go with unlisted. I'm happy with that and I click on create. I can now see that it's connecting in the lower left-hand corner here. And now I can see that it's gone live. And in fact, we can see here in red, hopefully you can see it on the camera there, that it's been live for roughly 10 seconds. Now to highlight the fact that this has now gone live on YouTube, if I move over to my desktop for a second, here we can see that I'm on my YouTube channel. And if I click on YouTube Studio, followed by videos on the left-hand side here, I can first see all the videos that I've already uploaded. But if I click on the Live tab right here, I can see any live video that's currently taking place. But I can also see any live videos that I did in the past. Now here, this video, remember, I called it Demo, and that's the one we see right here and we have this little red icon saying live. Now, if I click on that video, on the far right hand side now, I can actually see the link to the video, and I even have a button here which will allow me to copy that link onto my clipboard so I can then share with my students either via email or any other service that I use online with my students. Now, if I actually go ahead and click on the link, it opens up a new tab and I can see the live streaming of my video. And at present, it's completely blank. The reason for this is because what's being streamed right now is what the back camera on my iPad is seeing. And that is the desk on which I've placed my iPad. 
All right, so now that everything's set up, I want to share my iPad screen. And for that, I go in the upper left-hand corner here and I click on this menu. And now I click on the middle option, Screen Capture. Next, I'm being asked for a destination. So I click on destination here. And I want to select Active Event because it's an event that I've just created, meaning it already exists and is up and running. So I click on Active Event. And I'm now prompted with the only option or the only thing that's currently running, and that is the demo. So I click on that. Now I can see the destination is YouTube Two Dots Demo, and I'm happy with that, so I click anywhere to exit that. I now close this, and now to actually send my iPad screen to YouTube, here's what I do. I exit the app by clicking on the home button, I drag my finger down the upper right hand corner to enter the control center, and I long press the screen recording button that we took care of earlier on. I now have several options, but I need to select the Streamlabs option, and I click on Start Broadcast. I can see that a countdown has started, and I'm now live. So exiting the control center, I can now open up any app I please. For instance, I'll open up Notability, and I can create a new note. And here I'm told initially that the screen broadcasting has stopped. Now, when this happens, don't let that worry you. This seems to happen a lot in the first minute of live broadcasting. But if I go back to the application, I can see that I'm still connected and that everything's still being sent to the demo and that it's still unlisted. So if I simply go back to the control center again and long press the screen recording again, Streamlabs again, start broadcast again, the countdown starts again, and it's going live once more. Now, if I exit this, there we go. And now if I open up the Notability app again, things are now working just fine. And in fact, now I can live stream to my students. So for instance, let's say I'm doing a class on quadratic equations, and I could show them how to solve x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals to zero. And I could do my entire class this way. And they would see this live on YouTube. So once more, if ever you see that the screen broadcasting gets interrupted, don't worry, just go back to the control center and launch the broadcast again. It's the only glitch that I've come across so far. Most of the time though, it happens once, maybe twice, but it's not a game changer. It's not a deal breaker. And there we have it everyone. I really hope that helps. And hopefully it's also helping as many teachers out there as possible to live stream their classes to as many students as they possibly can.